everybody and welcome. I'm Cindy Daycheck with Queen Bee Creations and you are here for Talk Tuesday where we share with you weekly a quick tip whether it's from business or success or painting to be able to help you in your creative enterprise. Now today's tip comes at you a little bit from my 20 plus years experience in teaching and training in particular about body language and in this world, world where we are spending so much more time in front of the camera, in front of the camera, where whether it's building our YouTube channel, we're on TikTok, we are on um, an Instagram, you know, reel, or we're doing a Facebook Live, or we are in Zoom meetings, we are spending a lot of time conversing with our potential customers through this kind of medium. And not everybody is perfectly comfortable in doing that. I get that. Maybe if this is something you want more tips on, you know, drop them in the comments and share with me. But the one thing that I did want to share with you today is how to be able to sound more confident, even when you're not feeling it, in front of the camera. And especially for women. If you are playing back your video and you're thinking that you sound a little hesitant or a little unsure and perhaps not quite the expert that you are trying to come across as, I want you to play it back and I want you to listen in particular for an element that we call up talk. And up talk is what happens when your voice inflects upward despite the fact that you are not asking a question. Because when we're asking a question, we inflect upward, which tells our audience that we are seeking or soliciting their feedback, their input. But when we're trying to make definitive declarative statements, when we are trying to share what we know, our voice should stay neutral or go down. So let me share with you the difference, right? So if I was, let's say delivering a shopping list, I've, I've asked you to pick me up some fruit. Up talk would sound like apples, oranges, peaches, pears. I'm inflecting upward every time. And I'm, I don't sound like I'm sure of what I'm looking for. If I'm neutral, it'd be peaches, pears, apples, plums, where that, that neutral sound we use to kind of let our audience know I'm not finished yet. There's more coming. If we are, you know, inflecting downward, it's, apples, peaches, pears, plums. So usually what you'll, you'll do is when we're making a declarative statement, we'll speak in a neutral tone and then we'll go down at the end, which signifies, okay, I'm at the end of the sentence. Okay, I've finished. And when we start adding in that upward inflection without the questions, we start sounding unsure of ourselves. We sound hesitant. So if I was introducing myself and I said, hi, my name is Cindy Daychuk and I'm with Queen Bee Creations and welcome to my channel. How much longer are you going to listen? You know, already it sounds like, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. And if I don't, if I don't sound comfortable saying my name, then how much advice are you going to seek from me later? So this becomes a critical element when we're looking at selling, not just ourselves, but our products because it starts to lay the foundation for our credibility, our believability. And we want our audience to believe in what we're saying, to believe in what we're selling, to believe in us. And to do that, we have to sound a little more authoritative. We need to sound a little more self-assured, a little more confident. And eliminating the uptalk from our speech goes a long way to helping us do that. So the easiest way to do this is to record yourself doing something. Now, for this, I don't care what you look like as you're saying what you're saying. So get over that. And if need be, turn away from the camera. All right. So I don't want you to get caught up in, oh my God, I can't believe I look like that. And what was I thinking? And what was I wearing? And I didn't even do my hair. My makeup sucks. And, right. So, so, so just look away from the camera. I just want you to focus on your voice and listen sentence by sentence. Listen to the first sentence. Hit pause. Did it sound confident? Did it sound self-assured? Did you hear that up talk? If there wasn't any, continue on to the next sentence. But if you heard it and it was there, then I want you to hit record and try saying that sentence again. Try saying it without the up talk. Play them both back. 
If that second time was better, then carry on. What you in essence are doing, so I don't need it to be perfect out of the gate, so don't beat yourself up over that. But what you're doing is you're training your brain to hear it. And you're teaching your brain to stop the uptalk behavior and to replace it immediately with this. So you create this close, tight, linear relationship between the two that helps you transition from the old behavior to the new behavior that much faster. Our brain is only doing what it's doing. It doesn't know right from wrong, good from bad, until we teach it, until we tell it. And in essence, that's all that you're looking at doing. You can create that new habit by helping your brain form those connections. And because this, you know, everybody's got a phone in their pocket, this becomes a very available medium to be able to use. Recording yourself, playing it back. I get that you don't like how you sound, but that's the voice everybody else hears. You know, so one element of helping them find your voice more appealing is to eliminate the uptalk. And we can talk about future elements but focus on this one. This helps your saleability, your marketability by helping build your audience's belief in you as an expert. Let me know in the comments how this goes for you. If you've got hurdles or frustrations, let me know and I'll try and give you a hand and help you through this. I know it's not as easy as it sounds, but the impact will be tremendous on you and on your business and on your success. Let me know how it goes. But I'll be back here next week with another tip for you. Take care.